Hi, we are spending our Sunday doing some errands and such. We are currently waiting for a car wash because my car desperately needs one. And because it's a nice day today, the car wash is very busy. So there's like a whole bunch of people lined up. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get a car wash today so I can finish my outro for my car tour video so I can get it up because a few of you said you wanted to see it. So hopefully that'll be up this week. I am editing a vlog, currently finishing editing a vlog from last week. It's at about 28 minutes though. I always feel hesitant to upload such a long video. A lot of you said that you actually don't mind the long vlogs. The Bo says he would prefer instead of one like 30 minute video to 15 minute videos. Um, but if I do that, then I'll probably have to upload a vlog like twice a week because I don't really want to upload two vlogs on the same day because then that kind of defeats the purpose of having two shorter videos. Yeah, that's my dilemma. So just finished the car wash and the car looks so clean, um, but I'm at Solutions now because I'm trying to find a solution to my bathroom vanity where I put all my skincare and stuff and I think I might have found it. So I found this guy and um, it is a vanity organizer so I'm thinking I can put like my brushes here and some other like miscellaneous stuff and then stack my skincare stuff on top and then in the drawers I can put um, smaller skincare items. I'm just looking for something to kind of clean up my my counter because it's really disorganized right now so this is actually on sale so it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, so this is the situation that uh, we have going on here. So I'm going to put as much as I can on here and kind of fix this mess. I like this system because it's uh, something I can reuse um, when we finish renoing the bathrooms. We'll probably do that later this year, probably in the fall. I gotta show you this before I actually get rid of the box. Um, I've been using these products, but for some reason I've been putting them back in the box instead of just leaving them out. Um, one of my friends got this for me and it is just like a whole bunch of kind of mini skincare products and they're perfect for traveling. Also, they allow you to test different products so you don't have to commit to like a full sized um, tube or jar or bottle of anything. I think this looks a little bit better, um, much more organized. I did toss some products that were empty or partially empty or potentially expired. So I have my brushes here, some products that I just had to use the space so I used it. The only thing is, I think it's probably my counter, but this is not sitting flush against um, the counter. All of my skincare products that I use for daytime and nighttime are on top. I like this particular um, storage solution because it has this lip so that if you are storing things on top, it, they don't fall off very easily. And then here on this ledge, I just have some additional um, face washes and also some SPF. And then up here, I still have just like the assortment of extra products here. So some moisturizer, some cleanser, some masks. And then up here, I have some mini masks, deodorant, and some makeup remover and whatever else is over there. This is what I was using to store some products and my brushes, so I'm just gonna reuse this in my beauty room somewhere. Okay, not a great representation because I do have um, some concealer on and also blush, but my skin is looking so good these days, and I definitely have to attribute it to the ordinary products. I freaking love it. It's the weekend and today I gotta do some errands, but I'm also gonna watch Beauty and the Beast. I'm really excited to see that movie. Wearing a little bit of eyeliner today. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I really, really like that stuff. Currently at a greenhouse right now. My mom is picking out some more air plants and it's so warm in here. Um, I guess it's because plants need to be in like a warm environment or kind of like a humid environment. So it's so nice in here because it's actually quite chilly out today. It's a little bit snowy actually. At Winners right now. It's been a while since I've actually shopped at Winners. So I'm seeing what kind of finds I can find. You never know what you're gonna find. And sometimes there are some cool beauty tools. in the intimate aisle but I haven't found any clothes that I 
um, want to pick up. I've been really picky with the type of clothes that I buy, um, and that's kind of why I've been avoiding trendy pieces. Um, essentially, ever since I watched um, that documentary, True Cost, and about fast fashion, basically its effect on everything from the environment to worker safety in the places where these clothes are being made. Anyway, long story short is I'm trying to be a little bit more picky with what I bring into my home. Um, starting with clothes. I just finished watching Beauty and the Beast and it was so good. So if you haven't seen it yet, you definitely should. I dare say that it was better than the animated version. The live action was better because it filled in some of the gaps from the animated one. But I remember watching the animated Beauty and the Beast when I was little and I still even probably have a copy of my VHS cassette um, in like that big um, plastic case for the original um, Beauty and the Beast movie. Also may have shed a couple of tears, but makeup still holding up well. And I also ate a whole bag of popcorn and there's still some Charlotte Tilbury Bond girl on my lips. I'm at Michael's because I was going to buy a brush cleaner. I really like the Masters brush cleaner. I think that's just what it's called, but all they have are like the big 24 ounce tubs. And I find that it dries out if left for too long. Good morning, it is Wednesday. This week is already going by very quickly. The bow is going to take my laptop today to the Apple store to pick up my new one. I tried to erase it last night, but it didn't quite work. Um, so I'm trying to do it this morning and I'm reinstalling Mac OS. And it says about three minutes are remaining, but it said that for the last 20 minutes. So that's annoying. I got something exciting in the mail today. I placed an order for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I do have the liner. I do really like it. So I figured I would like the lipstick. Plus on the website it said that it was limited edition and you know that gets me every time. I gotta say that Charlotte Tilbury has very quick shipping. And it's also free shipping on their website, so there's no minimum order. I ordered this on, what is it today? Wednesday, so I ordered it on Monday, and it's already here. And it came from quite a distance, it came from the States. I also really like how things from Charlotte Tilbury's package, very nice interior box. Also, they put your invoice in this beautiful envelope. It's like a heavyweight paper almost, and it's foiled. I did notice that the price of lipsticks at Charlotte Tilbury has increased since the last time I purchased one. So I remember them being around the $35, $36 mark and on the website it was $39 Canadian. So I really love the Matte Revolution lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. It's my favorite, dare I say favorite, ultimate favorite lipstick formulation. I'd have to say it's a tie between the Matte Revolution and the Hourglass Femme Rouge. I really like that formula too. Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh, really nice. I can't for the life of me find my tripod, so you guys are perched on a Kleenex box again. Anyway, I'm gonna unbox my replacement laptop. I am super excited. Um, so it's a basically a brand new laptop. The cellophane is still on it and everything. Um, it's the exact spec that I originally ordered. Obviously, they're gonna give me the same one that I ordered. I don't have scissors on me, so I'm actually using this SIM card uh, contraption that Apple gives you when you buy a phone. This is just as satisfying as the first time. Hopefully this is the correct color. Um, it doesn't actually specify on the box. Does that look like space gray to you? Maybe that's kind of how you tell. It smells like it came from a factory. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this does not have the same issue as my first laptop. I got a new USB-C cable. Um, I got a new power brick. And I got some more Apple stickers, but I'm excited for this new one. I am hoping that it doesn't have the same problem. So I'm gonna go upstairs and plug it into my external hard drive and restore my last backup and start using it. I think it's working. 
it's Saturday now and the boat and I are going to go check out some windows and doors because we're gonna replace our front door and also a couple of windows um, and then we're going to get some bathroom inspo because we are going to do our bathroom renos this year we are going to do our ensuite and then our second bathroom upstairs and we're going to do basically a full reno we're gonna get rid of everything except for the toilets because the toilets we bought when we first moved into the house. So we're gonna replace our tub and our floor and our sinks and our counters. Yeah, so we're gonna get some inspo because I'm not really sure what um, what kind of aesthetic I want. Um, but the beau yesterday, he had like a guy's night like I said, and he was um, passing by an Ikea. So I had him pick me up some fake plants just because I want to put one in my office at work to make it a little bit more um, green and uh, the other ones I kind of just want to put around my beauty room. I had the bow get me a few of these singles and I just put them in this vase. The vase was not from Ikea but the flowers were and then these were the potted fake plants that um, the bow picked up for me. I just like the added color of something green. It's just, you know, even though they're fake, they just are a little bit soothing. I think this is the one that I for sure wanted to pick up. And then the bow also brought this one home and then this one. We're heading to my parents for dinner today. We usually have Sunday night dinner and I'm wearing shorts today, if you can believe that. And I also busted out my Sperry's. Um, I gained a little bit of weight over the holidays. My mom calls it happy fat because I don't know, something about being married and gaining weight. Um, now that I'm married, I don't care what I look like. <laughs> there are motorcycles on the road, um, but yeah, I'm wearing shorts. It's so nice out today. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I told you that I was getting my grandfather's ring uh, redone into a wedding band, and I finally have it back, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It looks totally different. If you remember what the old ring looked like, it was very masculine, well, it was my grandpa's, so obviously it's a masculine ring. But I love how the new ring turned out, and I'm so happy about it. It's not the best lighting in here because the sun's going down, but this is what it looks like. So it's just a simple band. Um, because there's only nine stones on the ring, it only goes about halfway um, around. So it's like it's not a full eternity band. This is my current um, ring setup. So I have my engagement ring, and then I have this eternity band that goes all the way around but it's only um, about one and a half millimeters this is how the new stack looks like so as you can see the band is much larger the stones are a bit bigger but since it only goes halfway around um, the back is just a plain 14 karat gold but I love it because I don't know it's just that ring had a lot of sentimental um, meaning to me because it was my grandfather's he used to wear it every single day that he was alive and I didn't like the ring the way it was and it wasn't something that I would wear regularly but this is something I'm obviously going to wear um, much more often. Just for size comparison you can see my original band on the bottom and then the new one that I had made um, and then compared to my engagement ring but I just love it. I'm really happy with the ring. <laughs> 